six berry ratio this is one new concept which i have not explained to you which i will do now berry ratio and then we are done with tnm <coughs> berry ratio berry ratio is after the name of the event uh, of the creator of this ratio professor berry berry ratio berry ratio is the ratio of berry ratio berry ratio is the ratio of gross profits gross profits to opex pli net operating profit by by csa berry ratio a ratio of gross profit to opex fine where is berry ratio is put in the heading put under the heading or put under the section of tnmm probably because of the fact that it's also a ratio is a type of profit level indicator although in this case the profit that is being used is not the net operating profit but still it is a profit level indicator fine and ultimately you are making use of operating expenditure that is why probably they have put in berry ratio in this section berry ratio would be used in those cases in those cases where in where in the functions performed by the reseller functions performed by the reseller comprise only of the reseller only of the reselling activities no other substantial value addition function is being done by the reseller number one condition number two condition the uh, the the functions which are performed which are being performed by the reseller those functions are proportional to the operating expenditure functions are perform are, uh, are are proportional to the operating expenditure they are i mean functions and operating expenditure are very they are very closely related and and the functions that are being performed by that by that party by that entity they are independent of the value of the products which are being handled where do you apply berry ratio typically see you can apply berry ratio in this case a1 a2 a3 two control transaction this is controlled this is controlled chain chain of control transactions and this is simply this entity ae2 is receiving the products from ae1 big warehouses products land they come to the sh uh, shipping port ae2 warehouses them and then sells them forward to another entity ae3 simply reselling no value addition simple reselling and this the major the major functions of a2 would would be simply the value of the function would be proportional to the operating expenditure more handling more operating expenditure more operating expenditure this is the function being performed by the a2 fine and whether it is handling whether it is handling ultimately supposing this a2 this intermediate entity has got big four lift trucks it is lifting the items so those trucks can lift 10 packets in one go 10 packets lifting shifting dropping lifting shifting and dropping now those 10 packets whether they contain 10 iphones or whether they contain 10 shoe packets in material so the, the so so the the the, the functions which are, which are being performed by this reseller they are independent of the value of the items that it is handling so in this situation you can apply berry ratio fine right? 2.106 2.106 2.106 berry ratio are defined as ratio of gross profit to operating expenses gross profit to operating expenses fine okay interest and extraneous income are generally excluded from the gross profit determination we know this 2.107 these are bullet points before the bullet points in order for a berry ratio to be appropriate to test the remuneration of control transaction it means where where berry ratio could be applied it is necessary that three bullet points number one value of the function performed 
is proportional to operating expense. I've already told that because the value of the function is proportional to operating expense, that is why the basis operating expense. I told you that in TNMM the base is always representative of the value of the function performed. So in this case, the value of function performed is proportional to OPEX. Number two, the value of the function performed is not materially affected by the value of the products distributed. Told you, 10 box of iPhone, 10 box of shoes, lifting. Whatever cost, the cost will be in the lifting. And number three, the taxpayer, tested party. The taxpayer does not perform any other significant any other significant value addition function these three conditions check wherever these three conditions are met apply berry ratio very clear one two three fine value of the function proportional to opex <coughs> value of the function independent of the uh, value of the function independent of the value of the product and no other substantial function no other substantial value addition Ratio. And now in paragraph 2.108, it will give you it will give you the example. This example. Same. A situation where Berry ratio can prove useful is for intermediary activities. This is intermediate, intermediary, intermediary activities where a taxpayer purchases goods, where a taxpayer purchases goods from an AE and on sells, resells them to the other associated enterprises. Fine. So in this case, you can apply Berry ratio. <clears throat> Is this clear? Berry ratio, the concept and the application where you can apply. Both of you, please. Yes, sir. Great. Sir, could you please explain the first point? First point. The functions performed is proportional to operating expenses. Exactly. See, when I when I gave when I gave you the example, suppose this is this is the warehousing, this is the warehouse, and this is the entity A to the intermediary entity. And I told you that it has got 10, 10 pickup trucks, forklift trucks. So just imagine you have 10 packets of iPhone, 10 packets of apparel. It is lifting and then shifting and dropping. Operating, it is operating that those trucks. Now just tell me. It does not matter whether it is lifting 10 packets of forklift uh, Apple iPhones or 10 packets of apparel. It is simply doing, it is simply operating. It is simply operating. So whether it is lifting iPhones or whether it is lifting apparel, ultimately the operating cost will be related to the cost of operating that truck. And cost of operating that truck is what? Some amount of fuel, some amount of lubricants, that's it. So value of the function is proportional to the value of to the to the operating expenditure, which in this case would be the cost of operation of that truck. Clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm. So mm. the operating expenses would be the cost of uh, operating that machine for lifting those products only. That's it. Absolutely. Independent of what is inside those boxes. Yes. So generally, what I understand is Barry Rishu ke under bhi distributor hi hote hai, right? But they usually tend to show their operating cost higher. Higher or lower? Higher or higher or lower? I'll not I'll not dwell in this point. Whatever I mean, if it is handling thousands and thousands of items, then the operating expenditure might be very high. So don't go behind this high or low. But this. Would be a very ripe scenario, a very conducive scenario where you find that 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 reseller is sandwiched in between. A here, A here, control transaction here, control transaction here. Right? So this sort of situation along with these three, these three bullet points, very